good morning, everybody. Let's take a look at what's trending this morning. Today marks the one year anniversary of the untimely death of comedian Joan Rivers. Thursday was uh, Rivers was honored in the E tribute remembering Joan. According to People Magazine, the tribute comes after Joan's daughter, Melissa Rivers, made her debut as host of Fashion Police Monday night. Stepping into the role her mother made synonymous with award shows, celebrities, and fashion. Melissa said of the tribute, we are remembering her the only way she would have wanted, and that's through laughter. Rivers died at the age of 81 following a surgical procedure. No one from Jeb's campaign asked me if this was okay with me to raise money off my first show. Stephen Colbert is gearing up for his first night as host of The Late Show, but he's already calling out one of his first guests, Republican presidential candidate Jeb Bush. The new Late Show host got a little upset at Jeb Bush after his campaign raffled seats to the first Late Show taping for a small donation. So Colbert is having his own contest, give money to charity and get a chance to submit a question for Colbert to ask Jeb. Bush took the ribbing in stride while also donating to Colbert's charity. And what was buried as trash is now sold as treasure. The city of Alamogordo, New Mexico hauled in more than $100,000 for these old Atari video games found in a landfill. For decades, urban legends claimed Atari buried thousands of copies of the 1982 game E.T. and other cartridges there. The game sold so poorly they nearly put Atari out of business. Earlier this year, crews led by video game enthusiasts set out to find the buried trove. It turned out the rumors were true, and the contractor behind the dig worked with the city to sell the games on eBay. Eager collectors paid as much as 1500 bucks a pop for these pieces of video game history. Proceeds will go towards Alamogordo's police department, zoo, and other projects. A handful of the games were saved to be displayed in museums. And that's what's trending this morning. Don't forget, we want to hear from you, so make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram to join the conversation. And check out what's trending every morning right here on Good Morning Twin Tears.